due to uh, COVID exposure, we had a staff shortage because people were quarantined and that was only for two weeks. That was it. Our school was closed for a couple days randomly at the beginning of the year just for cleaning and protocols regarding contact tracing. And then we had to close down for two weeks right around November and December because of the spike in cases we saw in Great Falls. Uh, not officially. We had online schooling for a couple of weeks, but other than that, we still went to school. Yeah, the first semester, completely. It was closed. We had online learning that entire time. Um, it closed on March 15th, and we were closed through the end of the school year. Uh, no, not this past school year, but last year. Yeah, so how long was that last year? Um, the last quarter of our school year last year. March. Mid-March to end of May, yeah. when the school year was over. Yes, it was closed. Um, I want to say whenever COVID first started off, closed in March during the state games is whenever we closed off. And it's been closed since, I want to say till this year in January is whenever we start opening up again. Yes, just because masks were required. So you kind of were just in your own little area. And the only time you could take it off was to eat or drink. So I felt that it was pretty safe. I haven't felt unsafe <laughs> by any means. Everybody's been uh, careful about it and there's been enough sanitary precautions that I don't, I'm not worried about it. Um, I think students wearing masks, um, I mean, just kind of help the spread of COVID and, you know, make others feel um, safe coming to school. And um, the teachers did a good job of social distancing um, individuals in the classrooms and all that good stuff. Um, no, that was, yeah, we had quite a bit of regulations that we hadn't had in past years. Frenchtown's pretty laid back, so um, to kind of see the teachers have to take charge and take control of a bunch of teenagers, it was a difficult task, but yeah. I have definitely felt more safe in March because I'm not fully vaccinated, so that kind of, that weights off my shoulders, but I definitely was a little bit nervous back when we saw that spike in cases, but I knew that everyone at the school was working hard to ensure that my health and safety were protected. We switched to uh, four class uh, periods per day kind of schedule, so we would switch, switch on and on, on and off between classes every other semester. Okay. So less class periods per day. Uh, it was completely online this time, as opposed to being just directly face-to-face -face learning. Um, it was different in the sense that it was so sudden and we really didn't have much time to adapt to it. And so everyone was sort of scrambling in the last second to figure everything out. And um, I definitely struggled with online learning as well. Uh, this past school year wasn't a whole lot different just because, you know, we were still in person and there was a time when I was quarantined and I don't think I learned as much while I was quarantined as I would have if I were in school. But as for being in school, not really much difference. It definitely made my senior year a lot different. Um, I imagined like high school musical, senior year seems like it's so much fun and this year definitely took a toll. We had to wear masks, we didn't get to see each other's faces, like full faces, so you had to learn how to really listen. Um, with homework, it was all online for the most part, when previously those years I was used to like the paper assignments and writing, and so I definitely had to like learn my technology better and like turning stuff in. Um, with homecoming, we didn't get our parade. We had to like walk around the track and you know, you don't really, want to do that. You want that big parade, last homecoming. Um, so that was definitely really different, but I wouldn't really change it. So. It definitely was not as a big as a class. You, like the senior class has 45 kids, I think, and there's only about 20 that are in school learning in person. I would say I learned to be a lot more um, independent with my own learning. Like, um, with those online classes, you have to really 
um, really apply yourself if you want to get something out of it. So it's a little bit easier to kind of sneak out of some harder stuff <laughs> when you're doing it online. Um, so I think it was definitely something where I learned to really push myself even when there wasn't a need to, just to, for my own personal benefit. Um, when the school first shut down, we went um, completely online and the teachers hadn't um, kind of made online classrooms quite yet because uh, everything we had done was um, in school and on paper. So um, kind of just transitioning onto a virtual classroom was difficult, but the teachers did a really good job of um, making do with what we had to work with. I think remote learning and a giant shift to more technological forms of education was one of the biggest changes. Um, basically all of my classes had an online option. So in lieu of that, a lot of teachers did change the way they teach to be more technologically advanced. So that was really the biggest change was just seeing that shift to more online based education. Going online was the biggest struggle for me because I like being in school, having in-class lectures and being able to talk to, with teachers and ask questions in person. I guess my biggest struggle would be trying to keep up with all of the assignments that were thrown at us this year, considering we didn't have regular paper assignments, they were mostly online assignments, and so something that would usually be three steps is suddenly 12 steps, and I had a hard time adjusting to that. Uh, I went from a student that was pretty much A plus the entire time to a student who's probably like C's and B's at this point. I'm just trying to graduate at this point, to be honest. You just have to, sometimes you have to figure things out, especially when you're not allowed to, you know, interact with other people. So, I mean, while I was quarantined or while I had to be online, it would challenge me to become a better independent learner. Being on a computer was definitely a challenge. I am more of a hands-on person, so it was definitely tough for me. Um, I think it, I mean, it worried me at first because I, um, personally, I did not want to do my um, senior year online, um, especially at the beginning of the school year. I was extremely worried that we weren't going to be able to, um, you know, I wasn't going to be able to see my friends or have any of my activities, you know, participate in my sports. Um, but, you know, being able to come back and, you know, see all my friends and, I mean, now we get to just like see each other's smiling faces all the time. Um, yeah, it really means a lot. Yeah, we had a pretty effortless year, I have to say. Mm -hmm regardless of everything that was going on. Like we said earlier, we had yeah. nearly, well, we did have every single event that we typically have, every single fun event, a fun activity that we usually have next in the school year. Yeah, volleyball was definitely very different. We had to wear masks on the bench and we couldn't high five the other team or really huddle in the beginning, like we couldn't come together. So that was definitely like a big change for us because in volleyball, it's a very team sport. Um, golf wasn't that different. You know, we didn't have to wear masks. It was in our groups, um, so. The mask was the biggest thing, like for football and wrestling to get used to, just because you're on the field, you come off, and they, they wanted it on right away. So it was kind of hard to get used to, especially after coming off the field from running and then having still breathing kind of heavy and then having to put it on right away. During my senior year, that definitely meant I lost a lot of experiences. I was a part of homecoming royalty and all the homecoming activities and the football game was canceled and that was a huge loss. We also didn't really have the opportunity for a prom until a couple weeks ago and a lot of my extracurricular activities were either cut short or severely limited. So for me, definitely loss was a huge part of this year. I guess the best one to say would probably be to persevere. It was really tough always trying to get a lot of assignments in with the due dates looming on you at all times, but uh, I definitely learned how to adapt a bit more. I'm running track and field for the University of Montana. Go, go Grizz. <laughs> yeah, go Grizz. <laughs> Getting out of Montana and going to, going to see the world and um, being able to go to a new school where I can um, not have to worry about COVID um, and where most of my student body is vaccinated and can kind of just have a hopefully a normal freshman year next year and I'm excited to get out and see the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for the new chapter as well. I think it'll be interesting to hear um, what other students have to say from their experiences. 
Um, I'm staying in Montana, but I'm going out of Missoula. So it'll kind of be interesting to see how other people adapted and what their schools did and how they feel about going into a new area with lots of new people <laughs> that they were exposed to before. So yeah, I'm excited. Just new, new beginnings. Next year, just, I'm going to basic training in the Army National Guard. And so looking forward to maybe becoming part of the unit of infantry unit and just starting my life outside of high school. Well, I'll be attending college. Um, I'll be getting my generals done. And I guess I'm just looking forward to finally getting on with the next stage of life and finally being out of high school. Uh, I'm moving to Minneapolis to go to college. So I'm really excited to you know, see a different part of the United States and interact with new people. And it's gonna be a big lifestyle change, but moving to a big city is gonna be you know, pretty interesting. There's a lot of stuff to do there. And I'm excited to further my education, so. Next year, I really hope that as this calms down, I can go to college and not wear my mask and learn and be face to face with my teachers. And I'm actually playing college volleyball. So I really hope that as this like moves forward, I can have a normal season and play. Well, next year, I am looking forward to attending college at Stone Child. Montana Tech and then through the automotive program. I guess I would just say that um, I think we did a really good job of like taking things as they come and learning to be a lot more flexible. So I think that's something that we should um, keep with us because it'll help a lot with bumps in the road later on in life. Thank you for adapting um, and working with your peers to do what you can to have a fun school year and thank you for wearing your masks as much as a bug they are. Um, you know, doing what you can to um, still bring our community together and have a great school year. Yeah. Say so thanks for pushing through. It was tough, but yeah. we, we finished and we're graduating next weekend yeah. and it's, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> we made it 12 years together and we're finally done, so good job. I would want to say to others to give yourself some more credit because I think a lot of kids in my class this year felt really discouraged because of COVID and they felt like they were falling behind or not performing as well as they normally do. But we finished our senior year, our 12 years of education in a pandemic. And I think that's something that we should all recognize and be really proud of ourselves for. Just that we, we all got through it. And a lot of us maybe weren't able to go to school I was able to go to school, but we all persevered through it and it made us stronger, I think. So we'll all get through it. We, can, we learned a lot, I think, and it made us stronger overcoming the pandemic stuff, so. I mean, I hope it isn't like this next year. If it is, good luck, I guess. Just to not take things for granted because just like that, things can be taken from you. And I never really realized that until this year. So just keep doing what you love, and even if you don't like it, you're going to realize it sometimes. I'd say wear your mask, always wash your hands, be sure to stay six feet apart, follow COVID protocol, and everything should be great. Good job, you guys. Like, truly, we made it all 12 years of high school. We went through a pandemic. Um, we had so many ups and downs. Uh, we were resilient. We rolled on and I'm proud.